My name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N R. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase me immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 23. Lesson number 23, day. Day 23, it says 3023, 3 is to signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 23. The two problems that we're going to solve today are the ones that you will find on page number 173. Please turn to 173, make sure the book is in front of you. On page 173, you will see problem number 6 and 7. That, those are the problems we're going to do in this video. Those are the exact same problems that appeared already in the first and the second edition. In the event that you're interested in watching the original solutions to these problems, the original solutions were done at a little bit of a slower pace. If you're interested in watching the original solutions, you'll find the solutions to both of these problems, problem number 6 and 7, on day number 73 and 74. Just type in GRE math, day 73, day 74, and you'll find the problems. Problem number 6, part of it is already on the blackboard. It says in 2008, the value of export, in 2008, the value of exports, was the value of export was approximately they're not looking for the exact answer they're looking for approximately what percentage greater than the value of imports let's see what the value of export was now notice they're not talking about they're not saying value of export was what percentage of the import they're not talking about that for example ex for example if you go from 10 to 25 10 to 25 And if the question is 25, 25 is what percentage of 10? 25 is what percentage of 10? Well, 25 is just two and a half, two and a half times 10. So 25 is 250 percent of 10. But that's not what they're looking for here. That's not what the question is asking. The question is asking the export is approximately what percentage is greater? That's why I put it in a box here. What percentage is greater? So that's the question here, 25 is what percentage greater than 10, then the answer would have been 25 is 10, 25 is 15 more than 10, 25 is 15 more than 10. In other words, 25 is only 150% greater, 150% greater than 10. That's what we're looking for here, 25 is 150% greater than 10. And it is also true that 25 is 250 percent of 10, but that is not what they're asking here. Do you understand? So we'll take a difference in the two, and then figure out how much greater it is in terms of percentage. How much greater the exports were? How much how much greater were uh, exports were as a percentage of the imports? So let's find out, shall we? In 2008, in 2008, and for this, and for this, you have to look at the chart. You have to have the book in front of you. You have, look, you have to look at the graph that is given to us and if you look at the graph carefully you will find that in 2008 the exports were 12 billion the exports were 12 billion imports you will find were 5 billion there's a difference of a difference of 7 so the question was value of export value of export which we know was 12 was approximately 12 is approximately 12 so the now value of export which is 12 right here 12 is approximately what percentage what percentage greater what percentage greater than the value of imports which is 5 that is what we are looking for 12 is approximately what percentage greater than 5 well, 12 is 5, 12 is 7 greater than 5. 12 is 7 greater than 5. So the question, question, what the question boils down to is, since 12 is, since 12 is, since 12 is 7 greater than 5, the question boils down to is, 7 is what percentage, what percent of 5. That's it, we're done. 7 is what percentage of 5. Which is very simple, which is very simple because 7 we know, 7 we know is simply 5 plus 1 plus 1. 
5, 5 is 100% of 5. 1 is 20% of 5. And the other one is under 20% of 5. That's it. It's 140%. For 140%. The exports were 140% greater than imports. The exports. Exports were 140% greater than imports. I need to get a proper marker. I don't know why they keep dying every two seconds. That's it. And if you don't like the way we did it here, we can do it out. The question was 7 is what percentage 7 is. We can do it out if you like. If you, if you don't like what I did here, if you want to actually do it in a classical way, we can do it out by setting up an equation. So here we go. 7 is, which means equal, what means unknown, percent means over 100, times, off means times, and 5. And we will find that x is equal to 7 times 100 is 700, over 5, which can be written as 7 times 100 over 5, which is what I should have done to begin with. And 5 goes into 100 20 times, and 7 times 20 is 140. That is your answer. In other words, exports were 140 percent greater than imports. Another way to look at another way to look at it is that another way to look at the whole thing is that what we're saying here is that for every for every one dollar in imports in imports we exported we exported two dollars and forty cents. We exported two dollars and forty cents. In other words, for every one dollar of imp our trade surplus for every one dollar of imports, our trade surplus was dollar forty. So we import something for a dollar, and we export for each one dollar that we import, we export two dollars and forty cents. Two dollars and forty cents. Do you understand? U.S. will not come to mind at this point. What comes to mind is Germany and Japan, or rather, not Japan. Sorry, Germany and China. It used to be Japan back in the old days. Not anymore. It is the Chinese. Uh, it is the Chinese and the Germans that have, who have uh, huge trade surpluses, not the U.S. So that's it. We're done. The answer is 140 percent. The exports are 140 percent greater. Exports are 140 percent greater than imports. Let's do the next one. Problem number seven. Problem number seven. I'm going to change, I'm going to get a brand new marker. In problem number seven it says, the correct value, correct value for import for 2007, was five billion dollars. Question is the average import average import over the ten year period the average import over the ten year period is How much off is how much off? One more time, what the question is saying is, again, you have to have the book in front of you. In the book it says, if it were discovered, if it were discovered that the value of imports in 2007 was incorrect, the value of import that is shown in the graph is wrong, it's incorrect. And it turns out that it should have been actually $5 billion. That's what it says here. It says the correct value. If we write this thing correct, the correct value for import for 2007 was five billion dollars. But that is not what the graph shows. What the graph shows, we'll see in a second. But obviously, graph shows something else. They had made a mistake, it, and it, they discovered that the actual value for imports for 2007 was only five billion. The question is. If that's the case, if that's the case, then if you were to calculate the average 
we were to calculate the average imports for over the 10 year period, we're going to be something other. The real average import is going to be something different than the average import that we will gather from what is shown in the chart. The question is how much off are we going to be in our calculation of average imports. So let's find out what the actual figure was. In the graph, so here's the solution. The value shown in the graph, value shown in the graph is 7 billion. We are off by we are off by 2 billion because the graph shows 7 billion the actual value was only 5 billion we are off by 2 billion we are overstating we are overstating the imports by 2 billion we are off by 2 so we are off by 2 billion over a period of over a period of 10 years therefore Therefore, the average, the average is going to be off by, by how much? Well, we don't have to spend our time to figure out the, the correct value of the average imports over the period of 10 years by looking at each year's imports and dividing it by the previous year import, uh, but not dividing by, uh, so we don't have to waste our time to figure out to, to, to figure out what the imports were in each year, adding up the imports over the 10 year period, dividing by 10, figure out the correct value of imports and then figure out the incorrect value of imports based on what is shown in the chart and then look at the two differences. We don't have to do any of that. We don't have to do any of that. What we simply have to understand is that we were off by 10 billion. We, we were off by 2 billion rather. We were off by 2 billion over a period of, over a period of 10 years. Therefore the average the average is going to be off by simply the average is going to be off by what we're going to be off by two billion dollars over a period of ten years. And two billion we know is two thousand million dollars over a ten year period. And if we reduce it, we find that we are going to be off by two hundred million dollars per year. In other words, in other words, our imports were overstated. We overstated our average imports by two hundred million dollars because we were off by two billion, and it's a period of ten years. So, if we were to calculate the average imports, imports per year, we would overstate the figure by two hundred million dollars. Why overstate? Because our actual value was only five billion. Our actual value of the imports was only five billion. But if it is shown in the picture, it is shown in the graph. That's 7 billion. It's overstated. So the average import is going to be overstated by 200 million dollars and that's it. Look at, let's look at the answers. Well, there you go. There's answer choice A. The very first one. The answer is A. I'll see you next time, okay? Bye now.